morning. Today is Thursday the 15th of October. I have woken up doing a bit of a nasty headache. Um, so I've had a slow start, had my shower, um, and all I really want to do is just sit down and chill. But I know from experience that when I have one of these headaches, it's best to potter about. So I'm resisting the urge to do that, sit down and do nothing. Um, and I'm just doing some bits and bobs that I needed to do. I have kneaded my sourdough dough <laughs> in the KitchenAid and that's having its first hours prove. And then in hours time I'll fold it and I'll do that four times in total today and that will be for pizza tomorrow. And tomorrow we have a bit of a girly crafting day planned. Bryony and George's girlfriend Chloe are both coming over and we're going to do some felting because last Christmas I bought us all a felting kit and none of us have started it so we're going to do that. So I'm making a ginger cake. This ginger cake is a really, really old recipe. It was given to my mum by a lovely, lovely lady who's no longer with us. Um, but it's such, it just never fails this recipe. Well, if you stick to the actual recipe, it never fails. Um, I am making it gluten free. <laughs> and I don't have any glue, oh, I don't have any gluten free flour. So I've used some gluten free self raising flour some spelt flour and some ground almonds to make up 175 grams. I would normally use half gluten-free flour and half ground almonds but I, I just like to mix it up and see, see what happens. So I need to mix this with my um, vegan block which is the butter replacement golden syrup and black treacle which I'm not really allowed but occasionally I will treat myself and some coconut sugar. I need to find an egg and some almond milk and then pop it in the oven so yeah and I think this afternoon I will have a chill but I've got a few shop bits to do as well this morning so I'm just I'm just taking it slow and easy and um, I'll chat with you a bit later. a bit of new product photography for my shop. So I've got these gorgeous little notebooks that I showed you on Tuesday I think. And I have some brand new stitch markers and progress keepers. These sweet little clouds with the raindrops. Two types of toadstool. Where's the other one? One's a stitch marker and one's a progress keeper. I have some cute little ghosts. A few, not many of these, but oh, they're so cute. I'm going to keep one of these. Little pink acorn stitch marker. A little pine cone and a pretty leaf. One side of the leaf is kind of um, pearly kind of colours and the other side is a brown. And I've also got these sweet little Cinderella carriages. So I'm hoping to get these all photographed and in my shop later. You probably notice this fabric if you've visited my shop. This is generally what I take my photographs on because I love it. Um, I use this fabric to make my bathroom blinds. And it's so pretty, it's from Peony and Sage, and it just makes a really nice backdrop. Oh, I do love these. 
I might have to keep one of these for myself as well. <laughs> these are made of glass, they're so cute. I'm making myself sun-dried tomato and cashew spread for my lunch today. So I've soaked my cashew nuts and drained them. And I need to add some sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that is tough old lid. I may have to go upstairs and ask George. Yes, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. George managed to open it just like it was a feather. Ooh. Um, I've added the tomatoes, some garlic, and you need to add a little bit of balsamic, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I'm halving the recipe, so I'm not really being very exact. Some basil. need to save some of this for my pizzas tomorrow so I think that will do. Okay, basil, um, salt and pepper and that's it you just whiz it all up so I hope it's going to taste nice. Alright, let's see what happens. Wondrous dishcloth to the rescue. I literally use these all the time. It came out quite well. My Nutribullet did not like doing it. So anyway, I'm going to have some of that. Got some carrot. A fig. <laughs> and some of these crackers I bought yesterday. Oops. The only sad thing about these crackers, they come in packs of six and they're all individually wrapped in plastic. And there's really no need for that. And that does disappoint me. But that's lunch today and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch a podcast. Here's the ginger cake I made. It's lovely and squishy. I think that's going to be excellent. my shop up with some really cute things. Um, these are new, little stitch markers and progress keepers, Cinderella's carriage progress keeper, rainy day progress keeper and my gorgeous little books. I'm so so pleased with those. What else is new? Um, anything new on this page? Oh yeah, my little autumn pine cone sprig progress keeper, little ghost, a cute little pink acorn stitch marker, I think that's it actually. You'll notice if you've been to my shop that I have a few products that are sold out and I, the reason I've got them showing on my website is that I've contacted a few hand makers um, to maybe stock some of their products and because you're always so wonderful and buy the things that I list my shop always looks quite empty and I thought for prospective new what would they be 
suppliers I ought to show what I do make so I just put some out of stock items to give the new suppliers I don't really know what the word is it's all new to me um, a guide of what I sell in my shop so yeah there's quite a few things that say sold out and that's because they are sold out but yeah say so that's that anyway I am now going to do some knitting I think I think I may even get my happy patchwork blanket out I think that's what I'm gonna do this is for tea it's a Mary Berry recipe so I've got maybe an hour and a half so I think I'm gonna knit while my sausage hot pot's cooking I just wanted to answer a question that I had on must have been yesterday's vlog um, and that was what do I use for a backing on my patchwork squares what I use is um, lightweight fusible interfacing and I lay my fusible interfacing on my ironing board with the ironable side up the sticky side once you find it up and I just lay my patches out and iron them on and then when you come to stitch them they're already in a lovely block and you just fold them and they just fold really easily along their lines and you just do a patchwork like that and you will always always your corners will always meet up perfectly. I'm gonna say goodbye for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Mm -hmm.